Well, hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about quadratic approximations, which is going to build on our linear approximations that we learned earlier. So we're going to start with a statement, and that statement says that as long as a function is differentiable, then the function can be approximated by a quadratic approximation. And the quadratic approximation is exactly equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. That should look familiar. What is that? that? Those are the two terms in the tangent line approximation. I'm going to add one more term here for quadratic, and it's going to be f double prime of a over 2 factorial times x minus a squared. Now some of you might think, why did I write 2 factorial? Because 2 factorial is just 2 times 1, which is just 2. Um, but I'm putting this in here because later on when we build our Taylor polynomials, we're going to need that for our pattern because there's going to be factorials involved. Okay, so I want to talk to you about a couple of things that this does. Excuse you, Mr. Carmichael. Um, I want to talk to you about a few things about what this does. When you match a point, you're matching at f of a. So we, we have to touch at a point. Some, we also call this the center. Now, what are we doing when we match the derivative? When we match the derivative, we are matching the slope. Now, what about the second derivative? Why are we throwing this in here? Well, when we match the second derivative, what does the second derivative deal with? It deals with concavity. So I'm going to show you on the graphing calculator why this is a better approximation, for the most part, uh, in, over the tangent line approximation. But that's your formula that you, that you have to know. So let's just go ahead and do one. Let's do a quadratic approximation for f of x equals cosine x and use it to approximate cosine of point 1. Well, in my formula, I need a few derivatives, so let's go ahead and calculate those. I'm going to need f prime, which is negative sine, and then I'm going to need f double prime. f double prime is negative cosine. And my center, where are we going to center this? Well, if we want to approximate cosine of point 1, it might be a good idea to center this close to point 1 and at a place where we can actually find values of cosine and sine and that happens to be at x equals 0. So let's center this at x equals 0. Okay, so my quadratic approximation is going to be f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x minus 0 plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial times x minus 0 squared. All right, well, what's my original function? My original function is cosine of x. So what is the cosine of 0? Well, you should know that that's 1. Now, what about f prime of 0? What is negative sine of 0? That is 0. And then f double prime of 0 would be negative cosine of 0, which would be negative 1. So let's plug all of this in. My quadratic approximation is f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x minus 0 plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial times x minus 0 squared. And let's clean this up a little bit. We're going to get that the quadratic approximation is 1 minus 1 half x squared. So there we've built it. Now we're going to use it to approximate cosine of point 1. So we're going to say that the cosine of x is approximately equal to the quadratic approximation of x, so which is equal to 1 minus 1 half x squared. So the cosine of point 1 would be approximately equal to the quadratic approximation at point 1, which is 1 minus 1 half times point 1, which is 1 tenth squared, which is 1 minus 1 half times 1 one hundredth which is 1 minus 1 over 200. Now, if you know that 1 half is 0.5, 1 over 200 is 0 0.005. So this is 1 minus 0 0.005, which is 0.995. So we're going to say that the cosine of 0.1 is approximately equal to 0.995. Now let's go to the graphing calculator and see how we did. Turn this on. What I have right now in the graphing calculator is the regular function cosine and also the tangent line approximation. The tangent line approximation was just 1 because notice here we didn't, our, our slope was 0. So the tangent line, or t of x, is just 1. And I want to take a look at this graph. 
And we can see that while we're focusing on 0, as long as we stay close to x equals 0, the tangent line is very, very close to the value of cosine x. Now, as you scoot closer and clo or further and further away, you see they start to separate. Let's take a look at the picture of our quadratic approximation. Our quadratic approximation is 1 minus 1 half x squared. And let's see if graphically if this is any better. So there is 1 minus 1 half x squared, and you can see that this is also matching the concavity of cosine x. Not just the slope and the point, but also the concavity. And you can see that it hugs cosine x much, it, it, it must be in love with it. It hugs cosine x closer to zero than the tangent line does. It's, it's a better friend. So let's go home here and let's find some values here. We think that the cosine of point 0.1 is approximately equal to 0.995. Now the tangent line approximation says it's just 1. But what's the quadratic approximation say? It says 0.995. So let's see. Cosine of point 0.1. Let's see how close we are. 0 0.995004. Now that is pretty darn close to what we said, 0 0.995. We are off by, this is tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. We are off by four one millionths. That is, as I would say, pretty cool. I will see you guys tomorrow.